friends, and neighbors. Welcome to another production of the program. Thank you for joining me in this very difficult time. It's uh, Tuesday, see? And it's a real day. You feeling real? We're back on it. Back to reality. Oops, there goes gravity. Uh, remember yesterday we were at Mark's house? It seems like forever ago. It's more than 24 hours ago because yesterday we were at Mark's house about, must have been 2 or 3 o'clock, I think. But I didn't get to say anything about my like last day yesterday, so now I kind of have two days to go through to me. Maybe I can go through them. Not a whole lot. There was that fire. Remember on a... Uh, Mm. What day was that? Saturday? Yeah, I think it was Saturday. Could have been, yeah, Saturday. It was a fire. You look at the messages from the past, we do got to put that yesterday's onto a new one. But, uh, so there was a fire at that building. Um, I know somebody who, who works in that building, I have a co-worker who works in the building. I found out. And uh, there was a dryer fire, I found out. Not a wetter fire, but a dryer fire. You got a dryer, but you don't got a wetter. Cleaner and a dryer. But uh, it uh, he caused a fire and he said that it was almost a baby. Um, got burned. I think the baby's okay though. No promises. That was a few days ago, but on Sunday, I think I did the program at uh, probably around six before going to uh, draw club over there at the place downstairs where the fire was, like right next to where the fire was. It seemed totally fine. No, no sun to fire. Yeah, kind of looking around for a fire, but didn't see one. Signs of a fire, not like there was going to be an active fire. I mean, that thing in them. I uh, got on the bus to go home. Go to my residence and go lay my head. There's supposed to be an electrician coming to look at that plug. That's iffy. I still haven't plugged anything into it other than this, like the main TV. But now I'm concerned. But I haven't gone out in so long. Maybe it's time to go back, but then I'm afraid that it's going to go out forever, and then I'm going to be in real trouble. So who knows what to do about that? 
I uh, had to move a path of things. So there was a, a bunch of furniture, like the TVs. The whole TV zone right in front of the plug outlet. And so I pushed it to the side, so now my room is just a path to this plug. That's all the room is. Until the plug is fixed, and that's it gonna be all it is. So now I'm just waiting for that plug, to, for somebody to look at the plug. So I can move my things back so I can play video games and watch TV at the same time. Right now I can only watch TV and not play video games at the same time like a heathen. Like a simple thing. Not what I want to be doing. So, but then I, uh, next day, I woke up and did the morning things and came down here to meet Friday. So we go to Mark's. Do the taping of yesterday's episode. And went out there to Mark's place. You live closer to the bus. Mark, if you're watching this, I know you're close to the bus, you can get on that bus. No reason to not get on the bus. So, get on the bus, Mark, please. Come out here and come see the studio again. Then I, uh, we came back here after that to uh, do some capture, and then went back to. Uh, the, I went to Far East to get some food, and their their little baby was at the uh, at the desk. Like I don't know, like it must be like five or less, maybe four. But it's growing up. The kids are growing. I want to see Elias, kid, uh, is maybe a teenager. Elias, you out there? I know you were from 2015. Maybe we're going to look at that uh, 2015 stuff, see if you were there. But the kid has grown pretty big. I remember when it was a little, little baby. Uh, they grow, I guess, when they're babies more than when they're adults. A lot more. But, uh, they closed the whole store down, so they kind of told everybody that that was happening. So you see the children in the world, and they're growing up. And she wanted to get her mother, she helped me. And then, I think I uh, must have just got another bus to go back to my residence again. So, not that much. And then we got back up again today. Went back to work. And we came here. Today I was almost going to go see the movie. Uh, but I stopped work at 6 o'clock. Movie starts at six at seven twenty. So I would have to be rushing, and I was thinking about rushing. Well, like maybe if I move, if I move hastily, I can get everything I want to be done. Maybe I don't need pizza, but I hear knocking around. Yep, knocking around. I heard ya. Hey, Freddy's got an old school pizza shirt and I'm eating it. Uh, but I, I, I almost saw this movie today at 7.20, but instead I, I, I decided to do it tomorrow and have leisure. But I'm always worried about seeing trailers. Now that the movie's out, the trailers are people going to be talking about the movie and I have to avoid trailer, trailers. It's like a life game I'm playing where I'm dodging, trying to see these uh, spoilers. Uh, there's no mics. I didn't. I only hooked up one. It's in the. They're in the. Uh, in the mic bag out there. Still. 
to talk to Freddie. I was right about to look at the phones, but I'm going to talk to Freddie for a little bit too. And then we'll look at the phones after that. Whoa! I'm in and out dropping pizza. Yeah, it's good to be back sometimes when I'm not here. It kind of feels like maybe we were never here at all. You know, like yesterday. Sometimes I think, oh, it's like, oh, did I forget the program? Did I forget to do the program? And I don't think I did forget to do the program because uh, I know what I did. I went to Mark's. But it wasn't here. So I didn't do this part, but I did sit here and watch most of the hour anyway. So I sat here for an hour capturing the Mark episode. Um, no, no, that was good, though. But I'm pretty much at the end of my two days of what I was doing for two days. I think it's going. Is it going? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I almost forgot that I could talk. Old school pizza. That's right. It's a good pizza place. Is that a Madeline? It is. Shirt? Madeline made this wow. shirt. Yeah. Did you commission? Yeah, they commissioned it from her. Wow. Well, it's good pizza. Best pizza in Thurston County. It really is. That's not, um, yeah, no joke. 100% real. Better than Wicked Pies. <laughs> I haven't never been there, so. Oh, yeah, neither have I. But <laughs> I, I, I have a vendetta Yeah. or something, I guess. It's not just a clever name. They just, yeah, they're the, I, got, I have been calling them evil pizza. Well, they're called Wicked Pies, not just a clever name. All right. How are you? Oh, good, good. Had had uh, one, uh, two very busy day offs, you uh-huh. know, doing the thing. I because of the, I think the um, holiday, yeah. a lot of my coworkers are out of town and doing stuff, so they like, uh, you know, um, working extra. I usually mm-hmm. don't work so much, and uh, so now I have like four days of stuff condensed into two days wow. for my day off, yeah. and I. Um, it's actually, I've been surprised how much I was able to get done. So, it worked out. Got flyers. Made some flyers for this show. Oh, do you make them yourself? Actually, uh, the Tello Tello, which uh-huh. is Giselle, she made the flyer at Oli Print, or whatever the thing where they make, it's like screen, or er, not screen printing. She made it with, like, letterpress stuff, you know? Wow. Oh. But it was before we knew where it was going to happen. So yeah. I've been modifying them to ha- include the um, time and the location. Oh, yeah. But um, It's like a um, tour poster then. Yeah, pretty much. You like make all your posters and then you write the stuff on them later. Right. <clears throat> so that's pretty good. Um, and then like went to TCTV and got the 2 a.m. caught back up. Mm. And like, oh, I, not to mention the art commission stuff that has to happen yeah which i'd like to say if you're watching this oh man well no if you're watching this on youtube and you live in thurston county you should get involved in the plinth project (laughs) it's a funny name i know it's a funny name but you should you should do it like go vote the city is literally going to buy one of these like i think there's 18 sculptures or like 15 sculptures too late to submit too late to submit for this year. They already are installed and they're on the waterfront. Go look at them and be like, even if you don't like any of them, just know the city's going to buy one of them and they are doing it by popular vote. So whichever one gets the most votes is the one that is going to get purchased by the city and will become a permanent part of um, the Olympia landscape or whatever, art mm, landscape. Okay. So this is, I mean, I hope none of my... Other commissioners are watching, but this is sort of like damage control or something. I don't know. I'm not. There's no sculpture. I'm like, this is my favorite sculpture I've ever seen in my life. And maybe you won't either, but like, you gotta pick the one that is the best. Personally, and they're they're know? they're outside right now. They're outside right now. Yeah, I might. Maybe I should bring it on the show and like just show all the options and then get what you want. You know, yeah. you can take a look at them. I'll go. I can go do that. And where do we vote? Um. This is the first year they're doing online voting, so they're actually, like, I think there's a spot on the city website mm. where you can, like, click a thing, and then it will take you to, like, this survey page. Maybe we can, um, can't you, like, find places that are going to, like, group bomb a voting survey? Yeah, yeah, we could do that. Yeah, definitely. Make it, uh, If well, we had any influence over large amounts of people, we could easily do that. You name 
I mean, this is like the internet always names everything Hitler did nothing wrong. Oh, yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah, one of those kind of things. Right, yeah. Which Hitler did a lot of bad things. Well, yeah, so. a lot of bad things. But that's like the joke. I think that's where, yeah, they're joking about that. Yeah, we, we can get them to, the internet to take it over the... the oh, yeah, we got to find a space, yeah. I know one of the ladies, like Susan Agnor is like... Um, from Vancouver, Washington. She's got a piece in there. I got to go look at it in person. I haven't seen this one myself, but um, I don't know. I'm not sure if I should vote for her. I know her, but I don't know if it's like the right piece, you know? Not mm -hmm. sure. Well, I got to go look at it. So what are I don't have an opinion yet. I haven't voted myself yet. Are there but any you abstract got to ones? July 31st. There are pretty much a lot of abstract ones. Um, mm -hmm. There's like a there's one guy who puts a lot of pieces in every year. Yeah. Like Ken something. And he's he's won occasionally, but it's like his pieces have this like abstract thing, you know, it's like um Ken Turner, I think is his name. He's mm -hmm. got he's got a, he's got a several pieces that are have eventually won and he's like sort of doing the like quantity thing where he submits a lot. And then inevitably, someone is gonna like eventually one of them is gonna win. I think yeah. it's happened. So that's fine though. You know, abstract is good. I don't know. There's like things where it's like, oh, the pig won last year, and the lady who made the pig and put two different animals, like a rabbit and a bear, you know, like in the same style. You remember that pig, the pig, uh, pig statue? No. It's like dressed in like kind of fancy clothes. Where was it on the on the pier? It was on the pier. Now it's in front of City Hall. But it's gonna have like it's gonna find a spot. They're gonna put it somewhere. And the city buys it for a lot of money. Whatever the artist says. Well, up to a certain amount, the artist says like this is what this piece is worth. Well, why wouldn't the artist go say the maximum? I know. <laughs> I mean, I hope that they do. Is there a maximum? It's because there's a maximum. Yeah, you, you just say that. That's like they tell you what the maximum is. Uh, I'm not sure if they do. Well, they must, because they can't tell you like it's worth. They're like, oh, sorry, we can't get that. It's like worth more than that. Oh, I mean, if know? you win a thing, and they, the city says, I'm gonna buy it. Yeah. And before you even said how much you're gonna sell it for. Then you just say like there must be a maximum. Yeah. So you have to you have to say like oh yeah, it's this amount. It's you the maximum like, amount. You say like a trillion dollars. <laughs> it's like, it's, the value is a trillion dollars. Yeah. Just to be like trying to push it. Maybe they're hoping for people to be really really honest, which is not a good hope. Well, it's really hard to uh, to put a value on the art. That's true. Sometimes it's like millions of dollars where they got like a... Actually, I was doing... That was part of the thing I had to do today was I was going in and um, looking at all the public art on the west side of Olympia that the city, like, owns. Uh-huh. Um, the permanent collection out there. And I was supposed to go and, like, fill out things about whether or not it was damaged or had um, been vandalized or whether there was, like, safety issues, like, uh -huh. checking for things. And, the, like, it's a yearly thing. You go out and look at them. Okay. And I went to one of those places, which was in fire station two yeah out on the west side and they got like a, a thing and the guy the fire guy who was sitting at the front desk he was like he's like what's something what's a what's a, what's a piece of art like that worth yeah. and i was like i i cannot tell you i don't know like yeah it's like that value is really arbitrary and kind of weird we could probably i mean it's public record how much the city paid for it you know we could go look that up um but we don't know. I don't know what it's worth. Well, and then, then I was yeah. like, do you like this? And then, you know, because it's like, I looked at this piece, and the plaque says it's been in this fire station since 1991. Wow. So it's been there for most of my life. And it's been in the fire station. I was like, do you like this? And then he was like, oh, I'm not really an art guy. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> he would not tell me. Which is like probably maybe he doesn't like it. I think it's upside down though. I like went in there. I would I would encourage people yeah. to go look at it. The signature is in the top left corner, and yeah. like it's also the signature looks. You know how you like start a signature and it kind of feels like weighted in a certain way when you yeah. write your signature. You know, it's like kind of weighted to the left, like forward to the left. Yeah, it almost looks like 
Oh yeah, no, you would be. It would be weighted to the right. You're writing your signature with the right hand or whatever, right? It's like weighted. Yeah. To the uh, this way for the viewers, you know. Um, it's weighted. It feels like the signature is weighted the other direction, and it's at the top left of the thing. I'm like, are you guys sure you didn't install this upside down somehow? Like it really looks upside it's been down. Upside to down me. for 20 or 30 years? Maybe. I, maybe I don't know. Maybe it's not upside down. But it. Is it, it really kind of. It's pretty abstract. Yeah, it's like brushed metal and paint and stuff. Was it damaged? No, it was in perfect condition. It was probably the best. It was like maybe the best in condition piece because it's indoors mm -hmm. in a fire station. What were the other ones? Um, there's like a chair that Nikki McClear made that's in Decatur Woods Park that um, is in pretty good shape, but a lot of people have been like scratching it, like scratch graffiti, yeah. you know? And then there was um, basically these concrete poems along the West Bay Park. Which I have, oh, just to be honest, I really don't like that piece. It really, it it's not good. Hmm. I don't like it. I don't like the poems. I think the poems irritate me. So just you got like, like a big guide to all the art? Yeah, yeah. Oh. And I have to go from place to place and like, oh, and like, uh, you okay, know, the three oars, oars park. Yeah. yeah, the oars. Then there's like the mir the mosaics that are on the bridge. Mm. Um, there's like a, a, a statue of a salmon in West Bay Park. There's a... Uh, Let's see, was there another one? Oh, um, there's like these new things that are kind of like bike racks around the trees, but they're like little scenes of Olympia life. Like they're metal. They're like on Harrison and Division, basically, like kind of by that like new Harrison and Division Park. Like the boxes, electri electrical boxes, or no? They're they're like they are kind of like bars that go around the trees and people can put their bikes, lock their bikes to them. So they're like multi-purpose, like tree protectors, bike locks, like bike rack like, type things. And also um, like public art because they're made of like metal and they've got like little like, like almost like, it looks like paper cut type stuff, but it's yeah. like made of metal, you I know? I rode my bike there, but I... Uh... Yeah. They're, they're really nondescript. I didn't even know they were there until I like... Yeah. Did, and, but they're nice. I would say that's kind of a good way, like for it, it to be functional mm -hmm. and also pretty. I mean, when you look at it, when you finally actually like look at it, you're like, oh, this is nice. It's nice that this is like a bike rack tree protector and it's like pleasant art. It's like the same way that a lot of public art is where it's kind of like down the middle where it's not gonna like offend yeah. anybody or like be like super like avant-garde pushing stuff. Like one of them is like literally a, a bike made out of metal, you know? I see like that one. Nice. Yeah, that one it's like in the tree guard. It's just like a it's just like a bike rack that's shaped like a bike. No, no, no. Oh. This is like this is like they kind of wrap around the the street trees, there, like right along Division, um, kind of like a like right on the side of that park, that like new park that's there. Is a new park on Division? And Harrison. It's oh like, yeah, yeah, like on the, the West Side Park. Yeah, West Side Park. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I, you see that stuff, and it's just like blends in with the scenery. Like I, I didn't even think that those mosaics on the bridge. Uh huh. I guess I mean everything is art. Yeah, I mean especially a mosaic. I mean it is in a way. It's like you're walking on it though. Yeah, yeah. but I guess like it's like bricks. You know, they had to put bricks and they put them in a sequence. Yeah. And you could it, just be like put it in a weird sequence. Yeah. So it's nice or something. Yeah. yeah. I guess I didn't, like, I thought it was just kind of similar to bricks. Or maybe that they sold those tiles at Home Depot or something. Like. Yeah, each of them is different. That one is, I think, I can't remember what the theme on that one is. Something about, oh, I can't remember the name of it. I had to give the binder back. That was actually a thing. I was, like, having to turn the binder in today, and I hadn't done any of it yet. So mm -hmm. I was, like, like, I was turning the binder in at 2 p.m., yeah. and I had to, like, Look at every single piece of art on the west side and like rate it yeah. for value or uh, for like how for damaged damage, it yeah. was um, by 2 p.m. and I made it. Oh, I made it with like time to around. get a burrito. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, still, I was able to get a burrito before I went there too. So, is there any art that's just like totally damaged? Um, no, there's some like weird vandalism on the Three Oars Park. Where I can't tell if someone like scraped off a salmon, like yeah. that was like sticking out, or if they like carved where they thought the salmon should be into the bench, 
like mm. to complete a salmon. I don't know. It's like that was a confusing one. Yeah. But most of the things are pretty pretty fine. Like a lot of the ones that are on the ground, there's like there's some missing pieces to the mosaics on the um, bridge. Uh -huh. Like on the like south uh, southwest mural or mosaic. I keep calling it a mural, but it's a mosaic. There's like some like broken bits out of that one. Um, but everything's in pretty good condition considering that it's outdoors and like all there. And there's like some weird non like anti vandalism coating that they put on a lot of the walls and like art pieces and stuff where uh -huh. um, like you paint it on and it makes it really hard to paint on top of it. And so then, and then the va then like if someone spray paints it, you can pretty much just wash the spray paint off with like soap and water. Oh. So that's why a lot of the things stay unvandalized. Well, they just put that on everything. <laughs> yeah, cover everything with it. What's this? Um, messages. To oh, the future? To the future because oh. we got to... Um, well, we got we to gotta do... Uh, uh, Yesterday's episode onto yeah, here? Oh, yeah. good. You remembered. Yeah, that's what I... I left a message on the phone about that. Oh, yeah. We haven't look, looked at the phone yet today. Oh, let's see. It's Saturday. You got the tape Saturday. already? Yeah. Mark tape? Yeah. Wow, you're so prepared. Did you prepare before this episode? You like must have prepared a little bit. I was like watching it again. Like I had like in 20 minutes here, so I just put it back on to listen to some metal. Mark. Yeah. Uh, the, 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 the back and back and back. I was also thinking about doing like a pass, like a, a pass with uh, the wave machine. Oh. But, I decided that it was too much effort. You know, I was watching some of it on YouTube today, and I didn't notice the wave machine missing. Mm -hmm. It was not unnerving to me. Yeah. I guess it's like it's like better. It works. It's more unnerving like at the time. Than yeah. Like I guess after. Because I get, maybe you have your own. At least there will be the wave machine on the message to the future. Yeah. Well, I guess we'll do this now anyway. Oh, like, yeah, cue it up. Do, a so. do the double time one. Yeah. Yesterday. That's the best guitar I've ever heard. Today is uh, Tuesday. Hey, program. We're talking uh, about uh, art commission stuff. Art commission stuff. Go vote on the Plinth Project. It's probably happening in the future now, too. So um, get out there and like help decide what piece of art gets to be bought by the city because they're going to buy one of them. So you better get involved in that choice. Is your electricity working? Uh, future, bye. Yeah, there's supposed to be somebody coming in to my home. So not. Yeah, there. Uh, your mic's out. Oh. Oh. There. Oh uh, no. Supposed to do that yesterday. They were supposed to do it yesterday and they didn't do it. So now oh, yeah. I don't know where they are. Some pretty good, I guess. The great is great. Oh, oh, my mic. Yeah, better, me. better. Yeah, yeah. Uh, title. Oh, no. Nope. Uh, episode last yesterday. Uh, rock and roll and love. Yeah. It's uh, it was good. Oh. Uh, what? Uh, I don't know. Mike, Mike, Mike. Okay. Got any messages there? Yeah. All right. Yeah, I don't know. It's intermittent. Uh, is it the mic or the cable? Probably the cable. Oh, uh, yes. There hey, we go. program. Hey, it's me. Oh, okay. What's up? What? What's up? You're eating some peanut butter. Eating some peanut butter. <laughs> Who's this? Uh, How's your day going? I think it's Jen. Oh, 
Well, anyways, hope your day went good. Yeah, Jen. Talk to you later. Peanut butter, peanut butter, eating peanut butter. Oh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Yeah. My mouth is blah, 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 blah. Why would you call people while you're eating? <laughs> Why would you do a TV show while you're eating? <laughs> I think I get another cable. This is not a good cable. It's intermittent. Hey, program, it's Jen. Just chilling at old school. Oh. Finished eating some pizza. When? Uh, I'm just wondering what time you're doing the program this week. When do they uh, call? Yeah. You could give me a call back. Uh, that'd be cool. All right. I hope you're having a good day, program. Bye. Oh, wow. You were eating old school, but you're here. When was that call from? Uh, One. PM? 30 or something, yeah. Oh, yeah. I got it at 6 o'clock. Yep. She's probably not still there. Jen, calling you back. Here we go. I'm going to wait until you get another caller to go get the new microphone. Jen gets off of work at 6.30. It's like 7 now? What time so is it? Jen is probably biking right now. Oh, yeah. I wonder if Jen can bike and talk at the same time. It's not too rainy right now. Medium. Hello? Hey, Jen. Hey. This is a program. We're on TV. How are you? I'm good. Are you biking? Nope. I'm at the house. You made it already. Mm hmm. Uh, it's like raining outside. It's nice. We're going to be um, doing the program. Tomorrow is uh, Wednesday. We're going to be doing the show at 6 o'clock. Okay. And on Thursday, I, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. I have the whole day. I, I have to figure something out. Because when you know when they have the holidays, it, makes, mm -hmm. it always makes me uh, I get anxious because I, I want to have, have fun or not have fun. But it's like society pressures me to have fun. And I don't know what I'm going to do the whole day. Uh, and I'm like trying to, I gotta, I gotta do something, otherwise you let yourself down with social pressure for ha to have fun. You know? Really? You know, did I have enough fun? I don't know. So, <laughs> uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do that day. It could be any day, or any time. Uh, and then on Friday, I'm gonna be doing the show at about 8.30. For sure. And then on Saturday, I'm going to be doing the show at about 7.30. And then Sunday, I'm going to be doing the show about 5 o'clock. All right. Any of those days sound good for you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah? Which one? Um, let's do Friday. Friday. Until like 8:30. Friday at 8:30, maybe 8:45. Sounds good to me. All right. What are you doing now? Nothing. I'm just sitting on the bed. <laughs> just spacing out or taking a nap or? Kind of spacing out. <laughs> uh, you, do you do that? I like pretty much never do that. Uh, sometimes it's been a long day. Is it? Are you sleep? Is it a nap? No, no, no. I was just kind of sitting here, <laughs> sitting in silence. Yeah, just kind of thinking. Wow. <clears throat> I like actually never do that. I'm always got the TV on. I guess if I'm if I'm uh, if I have like a spare moment. I'm watching TV or playing a video game or listening to music or something. I feel that. I can't. I can't do that. I don't know. I guess it's like a <laughs> gotta do things. Need to drink some water real quick. You haven't been drinking water. You know it's raining. No, I have been. It's raining, but still gotta drink water. Mhm. Mm yeah, just because you see water. Because you can't drink that water. Yeah, just because you see water outside doesn't mean that it's uh, you're drinking it. 
Nope. Yeah, I've been drinking. Ooh, I'm back. Yeah, Freddie's That's here. better. Hey, Jen. Hey, hey, Freddie. It's probably good to sit and think for a while, I think, but I also probably don't do it enough. Uh, it's probably well, hard it to was, think. It was very brief. You probably, it's hard to think when you're um, listening to music or watching TV or anything. It's like the absence of thinking, kind of. Did yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, yellow fellow left to the voicemail. Let's know. We'll call him next. Did you, right. uh, did you bike today in the rain? No, no, no. I ended up waking up and I had a flat and I tried to fix it, but it was the valve stem that was messed Ooh. up. I had a flat also. I have a flat also. What is going on with the bikes? I don't know. Yours is the valve stem. Mine was a, like a either like a blackberry bush or a rose bush that I rolled over or something. Mm, I don't know what mine is, but it's really slow. So I can like I can like pump it up and then ride it, but then I just got to keep doing that every time I ride it, basically. So mm -hmm. I don't know. It's annoying. Well, like. That bike that I, I'm riding is, it was already found at the Olympia Center because somebody had just ditched it there, I guess, and then Alex took it, and then it had been sitting around for two years, and then I've been, like, mashing out, like, 26 miles on it every time I go to work, so. <laughs> <laughs> the golf sim, I mean, we can just get you a, get a new inner tube really easily, I think, you know? Yeah. New tube. I just have to wait because my payday is tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, Rebecca did not know what YouTube was. Not even, not e not like, was unaware of, of like how it worked, but like did not even know. Maybe had never heard of it before. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She was like, what is YouTube? I was like, what? Really? Like. And we were like, it's something on the internet. And Mark was like, oh, like MySpace? <laughs> yeah, that was so wild. <laughs> Like in all seriousness, too. Yeah, not joking around. They were, they did have a tendency to joke around. They were dead serious then, though. Yeah. Pretty great. Yeah. Well, Jen, we'll see you on Friday. All right, sounds all right. good. Jen, sometime between now and episode 3,232, I would like to put the booth together. But I don't know exactly when, but that's pretty much... By that day, it's going to be together. Pretty much by the know? end of July. End of July, basically. All right, yeah. So if you still need help with that, just let me know. Yeah, definitely. I'm still sort of prototyping the booth table itself, but um, getting closer every day. All right. All right, thanks, Jim. Okay. All right. Oh, yeah, I'm going to call Yellowfellow because I think Yellowfellow is there right now. Actively calling yeah. the program. Oh, yeah, Mr. It's still set up so you leave a message just immediately no matter what. Right? Yeah. But I guess in, this, in the idea that you pretty much can see when people leave a message, though. So. Yeah, but if you don't leave a message, then... You don't see it? Yeah. Yeah. But also, it's like a lot harder to not leave a message now because it's like, it's, it's like all, it's all it is. Easy. I think it was like easier to leave a message when you call it and it's just only a message because it's like if you're calling it and then it's ringing and then it's a voicemail. You have the anticipation maybe of like having a conversation. You're like imagining yeah. like they're going to say hello and then I'm going to say hi. Hello. Hello. I mean hi. How are you? Good. Is somebody else on phone? Freddy's here, in the room. Oh. Hi. Oh, he found his distance. Hi. I'm in a cave. I'm in a. Are you I'm in like, a... I'm like in a tunnel or something. Yeah. I guess. Sounds echoey. Yeah, I'm like. You can hear the echoey. In like a, I yeah. don't know, like a. Like train tunnel or something. Oh. There, I took you out of it. But you should be like, I, I, I thought. Vegetable it, oil is bad for you. Vegetable oil is bad for you? Vegetable oil. Canola oil is, is that good for you? Vegetable oil itself is 
Patsy. I think oil is not good for you in general. It's uh, a fat. I think the olive oil is good for you. I heard canola oil is pretty much machine oil. They use it for machines. Yeah. I think, I you, think that might be true. Oil is supposed very to Very little, no information I received. You're not supposed to use a lot of it. Well, I think you should prevent yourself from using it at all. What? No oil? You need oil to cook. Yeah, how do you cook without oil? How do you grease your gears you of machines? Olive oil. Olive oil. Olive oil is... Uh, has too low of a burning point to cook most of the time. Mm-mm. Like we use uh, avocado oil. What are we millionaires? <laughs> mm-hmm. I can usually get a pretty good deal on coconut oil at the grocery budget, outlet. Budget, budget, all the things you spend and for entertainment. I've, I've tried to buy co- superfood. I tried coconut oil and olive oil, and they don't cook. It just doesn't cook the same as just vegetable oil. Hmm. Well, just, I'm used to cooking with vegetable oil. Raw diet. Don't cook at all. No, the raw. You, are you advocating the raw foods diet? A raw paleo diet. Paleo, 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 and gluten free. I think that the raw foods diet is like the worst diet because I heard that that's like what made people like smart in the Neanderthal what, days what, or whatever. What, cooking. Cooking. Because oh. be, like before cooking, we had to eat, or we had to always look for food, and we couldn't like That's save true. our food for longer. And our food gives us way more nutrients. Oh, but when it's cooked, no, yeah. Sometimes yeah. When you cook, you sometimes, sometimes when you cook, you cook the nutrients out of food. But we have very weak, we have weak guts, so we can't really eat that much raw food. It's like not good. You need. To cook it to break it down, it's like digest. It's like cooking is like a well, digestion before you eat it. And I don't know that's always true. Humans don't have the strong guts, and that's like that's why you have teeth. Human strength is tools. Yeah, and we don't have that strong of teeth compared to any other animals. You know, we we're like actually the weakest animal, but made a bunch of tools. That's yeah. like we're like. A, you think, you really, think we're an animal? No, we're we're an animal. We're just like we're actually probably. If we didn't have the ability to invent and use tools, we would be like totally prey animals. But we like figured out how to use tools, mm-hmm. and so we There's actually. Yeah, about the monkeys with the big black uh, rectangle. And the uh, they say they say that they say that people have the out of animals have the best long distance speed over miles or something. Yeah, I have heard that. Like that yeah. maybe I've heard that people can like. Outrun an antelope, not in initial speed, yeah, but like by like just like being like I'm gonna keep trudging along, like here we go, yeah, yeah. and eventually the antelope will just like get too tired and die. Wait, why would an antelope be chasing? No, you chase it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> wait, what was I gonna say? Uh, oh yeah. Um, wait, no, I'm forgetting it. Yeah, that raw food. Uh, hey, it's like everybody wants like natural stuff. Like they're, they're always talking about like they don't want that GMO because it's unnatural and everything. But it's like that's why we're better than the animals is because we've made things that are unnatural. And I think that's good. Yeah, but we're, now we're victims uh, of our own ingenuity. We've gone too far. We've, um, I think, that's who, why we're, what's the opposite uh, of a victim? Like a, a benefactor. I think, I think it's a blessing yeah. and a curse. I think it's a blessing and a curse. I think it's a mixture. Okay. Well, that's like whole, our whole life. Like maybe who has a better life? Like people or deer? Well, you know? we don't got along. Huh? I think we're all going to die. Well, we, we were going to die anyway. Yeah, everybody dies. <laughs> but really, I yeah, mean, who has a better life? It's like a deer I or think a we're person. we're going to lose most of the population. I should eat what makes you happy. Point. Yeah, I think yes. a lot of things. Are deer are they happy? Huh? Or do they they don't have emotions? I don't know. Ugh, stupid deer. <laughs> yeah. Eating my how garden. Would I go the, the deer yeah, are yeah, eating yeah. the kiwis again. You're Fucking growing deer. kiwis? Oh yeah, I'm growing kiwis. What? They don't grow. They can grow here. Yeah, we can grow kiwis. Yeah, this is like a climate for them. They're like smaller than maybe the like. Tropical kiwis, yeah. but they work. Yeah, oh they're like God. a vine thing. Vine kiwis. There's a moth in my mouth. <laughs> in your mouth? There's a moth. 
There's a moth in Where? your fellow's mouth. There's a moth in my house. Oh, in your house? In my house. Oh, God. I thought you said it was in your mouth. That'd Nobody's be worse. in my house tonight but me. Well, you have the whole place? And the moth. The whole Airbnb mm-hmm. to yourself? Mm-hmm. What are you going to do? Uh, make some oatmeal. You know. Huh? You can, With uh, black cherries and golden raisins. You can r- run around uh, nude. Oh, I'm doing that tonight for sure. And also, I got some purified water. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, uh... Oh, you can yell. I like to yell sometimes. No, well, I am being a little loud. It'd try be it, funny try it. Here I've already been yell fella. Like, I yell I yell. Really good. Oh, I have hummus. Yell in your uh, house I, right now. I have a really good loud monkey noise I can make, but I have to, like, scream at my highest register. Mm. Complete it. Uh oh. Just hold the uh, phone away from your face, maybe. No, I, I can't do that. I'll alert the neighbors. Oh, the neighbors, okay. I yell here at nighttime sometimes. Hmm, it's a good helmet. There's nobody in the. What kind of helmet Subject- is it? It's, um, it's a spicy three pepper top helmet. Uh, what are the peppers? Let me see. I'll, I'll check it out for you. Jalapeno? Cheese. Uh-oh, uh, there's canola oil in here. Oh, <laughs> god damn it. What is a canola? Yeah. Jalapenos? Uh, what is a canola, yellow fellow? I don't know, but I'm going to die from it. Hey, what's the thing where that political people, when they say they're going to do a thing, and, like, what is that called? Like the, the, Initiative. Initiative? No. Nah. Like, they're they're running... They're running for, for office, office, and they, they say they're gonna do a thing, and then they, they say that's like their it's like maybe their platform or something, but like oh. but it's I was like gonna say platform, but like but it's no. like maybe it's their, maybe it's platform, it's like their individual things that they're making, and I, I thought there was some word for it that they're like, I'm gonna do this thing, and then that's like their it's like a thing that they say they're gonna do. I, I can I was trying to figure it out. What it was. Yeah, I have no idea. I'm trying to think. Yeah, I don't know what a canola is, and I'm trying to like I don't really use canola oil. I'm. I guess I, it's in my helmet. I, I usually, think, I mean, I hope that this is not wrong. This might be, it, it's like one of those things where if I'm wrong, it's going to be really weird for me to say this, but I think there's, it's, it's like, oh man, I shouldn't say this. Well, I'm going to say <laughs> it. It's like, I think it's also known as like, there's like rapeseed oil or something like that. Yeah. And they uh, changed seed, it, yeah. they changed it to canola. Uh-huh. So I think it's that seed. It's like that mm. seed, but they didn't want th- that word. Was like people yeah. like seeing that word, and they're like, "Oh yeah. my God, what the so that, fuck?" That, yeah. Why do they call it? Why yeah. do they call it that? Yeah. Why do they call it that? And so then they made up canola. But I'm pretty sure that's the same thing. But it's just maybe like a wheat-based thing or like a I've grass-based wheat type thing. Yeah. I'm trying to think of the like the picture on the bottle. Maybe there is no picture on the bottle. I, I sort of think it's like a grain of some kind. Like it almost mm. looks like wheat. It's fun getting into trouble. Oh, peanut oil is good, but I think it's also very expensive. I like, um, uh, I want pizza. What? We like, well, from, can we get a, um, can we reach out to the listeners of the show and get to, uh, fund my pizza? You're becoming intelligible. Yeah, I don't know what you're saying. Can the listeners of the program fund my pizza dinner? Can they fund your pizza? It can't even fund itself. Yeah, give me a dollar. If we get um, any fans in the show, give me a dollar. They don't have the internet. I don't think the fans of the internet are, <laughs> like, really technically savvy. I don't know. Your phone's breaking up, yellow fella. I think I'm going to get move, move to more other callers, okay? Oh. <laughs> he was okay with that. <laughs> so did yesterday the two AM get a, a rerun? Um yeah. Let's see. What was it? Um Oh yeah, Mark left a couple messages. Oh good. We can say, Hey, how's your house? We were there yesterday. Um and maybe Rebecca is gonna start talking to us more on the show. Yeah, I've talked to Rebecca just to pass the phone off. Yeah. Kenny, you were going to 
for the call at 8 o'clock. It's now 8.05. What's going on? (laughs) Yeah, good question. Yeah, I think I ended up calling you at like 9 or something. Oh, man. You were going to call me. He's got some characters. Yeah. Um, where's the other one? Oh, yeah, and he left the second one, I think. Later, after the show. Yeah, maybe. We told, as we were leaving and had packed up all the gear, we said, call the number. Yeah. That's what I always We're going to meet JB. Kennedy, give me a call, please. If you don't, I'll fart. That'll be the end of the civilization. (laughs) It'll smell bad, too. Oh, not you. I'm calling you now. Wow, it's like, it's funny now to imagine. But now we know what he looks like, you know? It's like, sometimes his, especially with his crazy voices, it's hard to imagine. I've known. Yeah, I've seen him a bunch of times. Yeah, this morning what played was uh, episode 272 with Jessica. Yeah, I saw that one. You did? Yeah. Uh, Yeah, that is out of sequence, which is fine. But tomorrow we're back on track, and it's going to be the amazing mustache Hello. machine with Sean. Hey, That's Rebecca. And watch that tonight. It's Marky. Oh, Mark, I thought it was Rebecca for a minute. Was yeah. it? It sounded like Rebecca. How are you, Mark? Oh, pretty good. What are you doing? We're sitting here talking to you on the phone. Sitting on the couch. Mm. Stuffing the pie hole, little berry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what are you doing? Just hanging it in front of the fan because it was kind of hot in this room. Yeah, it was hot. I was there yesterday. I turned the fan on so I could cool off a little. Now I know where you are, and I saw the phone that you're talking on now. Yeah. Did you look at your tape? I watched it. It's pretty good. You know, the volume's a little low. Uh, Did you try to turn up your TV? Yeah, all the way, and... And the volume was pretty low. Mark, I'm going to say, I think maybe you need a new, uh, like, maybe a stereo. Si- you got to plug your TV into your stereo system or something. Because when we were recording it, it also seemed pretty low, too. But it's it's pretty good. I mean, you, when you watch, you know, it's like not too quiet, really. Looked at it. Yeah, but with the guitar, I could hear the drums real good, but I couldn't hear the guitar very well. That was, huh. That's your mix, Mark, because that was all off of you. The drums and guitar oh. mix. You know? Yeah. I didn't have any control over that. Oh, I see. Yeah. I thought that's how you wanted it. But it, I, it's we can hear the guitar, though. It sounds yeah. real good. Drums are staccato. You know, we could have we used an extra set of headphones. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I think it sounds good, though, because the drums drums are, are real. You, you know what staccato is, Mark? They're outstanding. <laughs> no, it's like... They're loud. It's like they're like drums are like short. Short. They hit. They hit and then they go away. And the the guitar is long. What they call legato. Uh, I guess. Oh yeah, I know what you mean. Short and long. Maybe it's just short, short and long. But it's like music terms. So then, like you can always yeah. hear the guitar like through it because the drums are go quick. Almost sustaining or something. Yeah, the guitar yeah. is more sustained, so you can always hear it. I think it sounds good. I think the mix is pretty good, actually. Mm. How'd me. your tape turn out? Great, Ooh, real great. good. Real, real similar to your tape. Mm. Yeah. How do you get those lines out of the picture? You know, on the bottom. Is it tracking? Yeah. Um, sometimes on your VCR, if you use the channel buttons, there'll be a do tracking. Do you guys clean it up before you put it on the? No, most VCRs have auto tracking. Oh. But Maybe you need a VCR head cleaner. Mm. Is that like that? They don't, they don't have a machine that cleans that up. They do. They do. It's a little tape thing. It looks like a VHS tape, but it's uh, it's got like a cleaning. You get pop. Oh. You get poppers. You know poppers, and then you put them on there. Some people. Yeah. You know poppers. They can be used to clean your VCRs. That's true. I don't know We're what they. Have you, know, tonight. you never heard of poppers? Mm. Yeah, I remember that. So people were, were, it's like VHS cleaner, yeah. but it, it was uh, secretly a drug. Oh. Um, so, oh. so people were buying, buying it. The head cleaner? The head cleaner, and then using it as a drug. But now, how do they buy the drug? No, now they buy the drug at, like, I think, um, 
stores, and then well, how what, do you get a head cleaner? You have to go buy drugs. Well, what do you call? What do you what do you call? Don't they just call it like poppers? You can just like buy poppers at places, right? Yeah, I don't know. If you, I think if it's like used as poppers, then you're not supposed to be. I thought you, you could get it at like sex that. stores or something. Yeah, but is, they say it's poppers still. Well, were they, you're not you're going to a head store or a, before, like a they sold them because they sold um, porn. Oh, tapes. so they, so they like said VCR head cleaner. Cleaner. Oh. So now that there's no more VCRs, maybe they say call it disc cleaner or something. But oh, disc cleaner. I don't cleaner. know. Yeah. They have to hide it because it's a drug or something. I think it was it wasn't supposed to be. Yeah, I think that's that was my understanding. Oh yeah. Maybe it's. Maybe it's not real. I mean, they sell. There's other places that sell like kratom and like other like legal drugs. I think it's not an illegal drug. Okay. What What's the thing that's like basically, like whipped cream? Whip whippets. Wh- oh, it's different. Okay, yeah, whippets. Steve, yeah, that's what Steve O on from, on TV was doing. Um, what's for dinner, Mark? We're gonna have pizza tonight. Oh, oh I want from pizza. Where? Uh. Uh, Brewery City Pizza. Oh, yeah. Oh, BCP. I got a uh, pizza today. We're going to have uh, Canadian bacon and pineapple. All right. Yeah. Well, hey, hey, Mark, we only got five minutes Next left. Please. We only got five minutes left. I got to make more more phone calls. Well, hey, you guys, I'll wrap you guys later. Yeah, man. keep calling and leaving those messages. We'll talk to you later. Okay, bye. All right, bye. I think I'm just going to... Uh, I'm just gonna make the calls and not, not, Mr. Ginty left some messages. Yep. But we're not gonna listen to them. I'm just gonna oh. call. I'm calling Grandma right now. Oh yeah. And then we'll call Mr. Ginty. Nice. He's, you know what else? Leave a message. There was the messages. Gene. Gene also left a message, but I guess we're not gonna get to it. I'm gonna call her tomorrow. Yeah. Too many phone calls. Two days worth. Oh yeah. Hi Kenya, how are you? Good. How are you? I'm okay. And uh, under not here. Yeah. When he come back, he gonna he will call you back. Okay. 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 What are you What are you gonna eat for dinner? Oh, I do okay. Same same stuff. Eat something for dinner. Eat, you gotta eat dinner. Yeah. So just and uh, talk to you later. Okay. 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 Bye bye. Bye. All right. I'm just gonna eat some stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's good. Sometimes she doesn't remember to drink water. Yeah, it's hard. I sometimes don't remember to drink water. Gotta remember to drink water. I don't know. Maybe I've been drinking so much. I drink a lot of water, but now add that to the background. We're gonna we gotta make a new background tape pretty soon. Yeah. If I don't drink water, I really know because maybe I drink too much water in general. Hello. You're dependent on it. Okay, I won't drink the water. Drink Drink water. Drink the water, Mister. Drink it. You said don't drink it. No, do I said drink do it. drink it, yeah. You said you're not going to drink it. And then okay, whatever you say, yeah, I, I, you're right. Yeah, I know I'm right. Yeah, I you do. Fucking... You always know. Yeah. How are you? <laughs> oh, well, better than yesterday. All right, I'm boss. Still, I'm, I'm on my way up. Good, you're, yeah, you're on that pill, that's right. What happened yesterday? What? What happened yesterday? I don't know, I'm fucking... Uh, I don't know. Well, some, that, something bad, right? I don't know. At least something a I little worse remember. than today. I'm freaking stoned. You're like so. How st- am I going? You're so stoned that you can't like communicate about yesterday. Mm, I can't even think what happened yesterday. Maybe you're too stoned. <laughs> <laughs> Did you? Uh, what happened yesterday? Do you think? You're on vacation, right? How's vacation? Oh, I, that's what happened yesterday is I went off vacation. Well, you went back to work already? That's right. You say you met, every day I talk to you, you say you went back to work. Did you actually go back to work? Yeah, I'm back to work. Why, do you, why, why, what happened to vacation? I like working, I can't help it. Well, yeah, but why, I mean, that's what I was saying too. I was like, why are you going on vacation at all? Like, why don't you just keep working? So, yeah, well, that's what I said to myself. I'm like, what the no, fuck? That's what I, I said. You, no, you said fuck work, fuck that shit. So you, yeah, like, why would you go on? Like, if you're gonna take a vacation day, like, you have many vacation days, you take one at a time. Otherwise, you get bored. Well, I did. That's what I was telling you. I, I thought I 
thought you would go back because I, I would get, like, I'm already, I have, like, one vacation day on 4th of July, and I'm already like, oh, what am I going to do with myself? So. You already don't know what the fuck you're going to do. Yeah, I need, I need to do things. Uh, do, they, do they allow fireworks where you are, Mr. Ginsu? Can you, like, shoot off fireworks 4th of July? Oh, I wouldn't want to. Probably catch the forest on fire. Well, yeah, but is it a, uh, is it a legal issue? Oh, that's a dry issue. Mm. We got two minutes. Pretty fucking dry. It's me. I don't want to do nothing. I don't give a fuck. You're not going to do it? I do. I give a fuck just because the country is freaking, uh, getting... What the fuck was that? Independence Day? Yeah. That was the, the timer. No, in, yeah. It's Independence Day, though. Oh, the movie? Uh, July 4th. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, fucking... Yeah. Good for Mark. Independence from you... the Britain. But that's really, like... I guess, I mean, I guess it counts as the whole country. But really, that was, like, when we were 13 colonies on the East oh, Coast. Yeah. I've never even been to the East Coast. <laughs> I just heard Nike fucking drop the 13 star flag. What do you mean they dropped it? They they dropped it on their shoe and then they dropped the shoe off the off the shelf. <laughs> what? They canceled. They canceled right? the flag. Yeah. Why the did they have it? At, it was in a circle. Yeah. Why did they have it at all? Um, because they wanted to. Put a flag on the freaking uh, shoe. Yeah, I think they should put the current flag so that we can all be represented. Yeah. Well, I don't know what their freaking thought was in the process of that. They they must have been getting stoned they and did. they had this wild hair fucking and then fucking. I think you're projecting. It was pretty fucking wild, and now they're figuring out that it's a, it was a bad thing or something. Seems difficult for a whole company to be stoned. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the show is over. <laughs> I mean, I always thought it would be me if I could find a 13 star flag. It's probably not too right? hard to find. But I didn't know it had bad connotations to it. Somehow. Does it? It kind of, um, mean, I, I mean, it's, it's like old timing. TCTV channel 22 and 32. Fucking something. I mean, it's from, uh, it's no, from a time. I don't time... totally, but oh. I do know it's not good. I can't remember what it was. Back then, what the fuck was it? back then it was like it's still colonialism and, uh, you know, white people and slavery oh, and, slavery uh, no. okay, yeah. So, uh, and TCTV, LeBay, with Jordan, Fabulous, Graham, Graham, Sons of Icon, I'm up in the USA and, Viewers as you, and they didn't have uh, they didn't yeah, have electricity. Yeah. I think back then, that's a bad connotation yeah. too. Hell yeah, dog! They didn't have videos. Yeah. They didn't have television. What a horrible time! Nothing. All right, bye, yeah, bye, yeah, Mr. Ginsu. Bye. Get the freaking